I heard about that meeting at headquarters this morning. You're taking all the blame for what happened in that raid. It's a pretty courageous thing to do. Was it? Because of my mistake, six men didn't return from that raid. We got a telegram from headquarters today. Headquarters? What is it? Well, it's a big building where generals meet, but that's not important right now. They've cleared you of any blame for what happened on that raid. Isn't that good news? Is it? Because of my mistake, six men didn't return from that raid. Seven Lieutenant Zip died this morning. But Dr. Sandler says she'll be out in a week. Isn't that wonderful? What is it? My war record again? No, not really. You're the only one keeping that alive. For most people, it's ancient history. You expect me to believe that? It's the truth. Frankly, what bothers us is your record since the war. Twelve jobs in ten years. And not one of them shows you can accept any responsibility. Elaine, I promise I can change. Then why didn't you take the job that Louis Nets offered you at Boeing? You know, I haven't been able to get near a plane since the war. Even if I could, they wouldn't hire me because of my war record. Your war record? You're the only one keeping that alive. For everyone else, it's ancient history. You expect me to believe that? It's the truth. What's hurt you the most is your record since the war. Different cities, different jobs, and not one of them shows you can accept any real responsibility. Ted. Dad, I thought you weren't coming. Hi, Joey. I came home early and found your note. I guess you meant for me to read it later. Helen, I've got to talk to you. Joey can sit in my seat back there. I just don't want to go over it anymore. Elaine. Ted. I came home early and found your note. I guess you meant for me to read it later. Elaine, I've got to talk to you. I just don't want to go over it anymore. Joey, here's something we give our special visitors. Would you like to have it? Thank you. Thanks a lot. You ever been in the cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. How do you like it? Swell. Joey, we have something here for our special visitors. Would you like to have it? Thank you. Thanks a lot. Sure. You ever been in a cockpit before? No, sir. I've never been up in a plane before. You ever seen a grown man naked? We better get back now. Uh, Joey can stay up here for a while if you'd like to. Could I, Dad? Okay. If you don't get in the way. Thanks very much. We better get back now, Joey. No, Joey can stay here for a while if he'd like. Could I? Okay, if you don't get in the way. Flight 209. Hey, we've been waiting for you. A little bit late tonight. Who wants to be first? Go ahead, Walt. I got it. Okay. How's the weather? Not so good. We've got some heavy stuff ahead of us. It might get rough unless we can climb on top. A little late tonight. We've been waiting for you. Who wants to be first? Go ahead, Clarence. I got it. How's the weather? Not so good. We got some heavy stuff ahead of us. It might get rough again unless we can climb on top. Would you care for a drop, madam? Well, certainly not. Would you like a little whiskey, ma'am? Certainly not. Like it was in the beginning, remember? I remember everything. It's all I've ever had to go on. Mostly I remember the nights when we were together. I remember how you used to hold me. And then afterwards how we watched until the sun finally came up. When it did, it was almost like, like each new day was created only for us. That's the way I've always wanted it to be. I know things haven't been right for a long time, but it'll be different. Like it was in the beginning, remember? I remember everything. All I have are memories. Mostly I remember the nights when we were together. I remember how you used to hold me. How I used to sit on your face and wriggle, and afterwards how we watched until the sun came up. When it did, it was almost like, like 
Each new day was created only for us. That's the way I've always wanted it to be, Elaine. Yes? I can't stand it. What, what I can't is stand it? My stomach. I've never felt anything like it before. Help me. Please help me. Just a moment, I'll get you some drama, me. Oh, I can't stand it. What is it? Oh. Yes? Oh, it's my stomach. I haven't felt this awful since we saw that Ronald Reagan film. I'll see if I can find some Dramamine. <sighs> I'm sorry I had to wake you. There's no emergency. It's just a passenger who's in a little discomfort, and we thought perhaps a doctor could help. So go back to sleep. Fasten your safety belts, and we'll be out of the storm in a little while. Stewardess? Yes. I think the man next to me is a doctor. Oh, thank you. Sir, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to have to wake you. Are you a doctor? That's right. We have a passenger who's very sick. Could you come and take a look at her? Yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry I had to wake you. I'm just looking for a doctor. There's nothing to worry about. Stewardess, I think the man sitting next to me is a doctor. Sir, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. Are you a doctor? That's right. We have some passengers that are very sick. Could you come take a look at them? Yes, yes, of course. This gentleman is a doctor. He's going to help you. May I see your tongue, please? Pain there? No. Oh. There. I'll be back in a minute. Oh. Let me see your tongue. back in a minute. You'd better tell the captain. We've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. What do you think it is? Well, I can't be sure yet. But I know it's serious enough to land at the nearest city with hospital facilities. Better tell the captain I want to speak to him. Certainly. You'd better tell the captain we've got to land as soon as we can. This woman has to be gotten to a hospital. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. Tell the captain I must speak to him. Certainly. Captain, how soon can we land? Can't. Why? Weather conditions. Fog has closed down everything this side of the mountains. We'll have to go through to Vancouver. But is that faster than turning back? Yes, we passed the point of no return. Well, how soon do you expect to land? About uh, 2.15 Pacific time, roughly four hours from now. Captain, how soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I mean, we can't land for another two hours. Fog has closed down everything this side of the mountains. We've got to get through to Chicago.